Hey guys, hello and welcome, Tony Bing here. Tonight I'll be having a look at the team up Hero Wolverine. Now, there are three variants for this team up and they are tied in with a login reward for Day 200, uh, Danger Room, 7,500 minutes, and also from the Halloween mystery bag. So, with Halloween just around the corner, I've decided to showcase Brood Wolverine. That way if the Halloween mystery bag does come back, people can have a little look at him and see if it's worthwhile taking the gamble to see if they can get him. So, let's get him called in. Now, I will pre preface this by saying that his skills are relatively simple, but that is tied in with the fact that Wolverine's skills are all about really punching people, so they're quite simple as well. So, we start off with Crimson Leap, which is a physical damage 6 second cooldown skill. Now, tied into Crimson Leap, we have Berserker Rage. That's a steroid, and it has 4% attack and move speed, and base damage starts off at 4% as well. Place more points into that because up to a respectable amount. Now, the buff duration on this is 5 seconds, and you will notice that the cooldown on Crimson Leaf is 6 seconds, so you're looking at a really high uptime on Berserker Rage. There we go, is that activated? You'll notice his attacks hit and fill up a bit faster now. now. Reset that, and we'll move on to the move that most team up heroes have, which is a, the knockdown with a duration of 1.2 seconds. This one is on a 6 second cooldown. There we go, all standard enough. And then moving on, we have Bloody Sweep, which is a low cooldown, 4 second physical damage move. And tied in with Bloody Sweep, we have Blood Drenched, which provides a 2 second dot on that. So you're looking at 50% uptime dot on uh, Bloody Sweep move. And there it is there. Next up, we have Eviscerate, high damage skill, high cooldown. Uh, to line up with that. Now, tied into Eviscerate, we have First for Blood. When we put one point in it, it adds 13% against bleeding enemies. And if we put this all the way up, it goes all the way up to 55%, which seems a high amount, but later on I will discuss whether or not it's worth maxing that out or not. Let's activate it just so we can see it. Here we go, simple enough again. And then we have his signature move. Just a six hits. And there we go, there's a sig there. Now, the tooltip does say 60 seconds, but thankfully it is only 30 seconds. That appears to be a common tooltip error with some heroes. I noticed this in Domino last night, it said 60 seconds, but it was in fact 30. So, what we'll do is I will set up the, the build that I've been running, I've found to be useful. And then once we've done that, we'll talk about the passive side of things and whether or not he's worth using in that mode. And there we go. So with Crimson Leap, we're actually putting our max points into Berserker Rage, and we're doing that purely for what we talked about earlier, the, the very high uptime on this due to the 5 second duration and the 6 second cooldown on the actual skill. And then we have Eviscerate, so max points into that. We do only put one point into First for Blood. The reason being is one point into First for Blood makes Eviscerate a, a very kind of efficient skill when it comes to damage. The more points we put into it means the less points we're putting into other skills and it actually pulls the efficiency down. So that's the reason I go for that setup. Now while he's doing all these moves in the background we'll, we'll move on and talk about the, the side of things for passive play. So he yeah, has Rampage, Brook Strike rating of 180, Brutal Damage rating of 720, all, all kind of bog standard enough there. And then we have Uncanny Predator. So what we'll do so we can actually see what we get from this at max points is put points in here. So at max points we've got 69 health regenerated per second and when below 50% max health you'll be regenerating 832 health per second for 2.5 seconds. So that's really every 30 seconds you're looking to get 2000 health back when you drop below 50% maximum health which is a bit underwhelming with how spiky the damage in the game can be. Now, next up for the benefit of Team Up Away Power, we have Away at Work. So, passive effect on this regenerates 69 health, which might be okay until we notice it's when you defeat an enemy. And really, against against bosses, against uh, raid bosses, uh, um, a passive effect like this is useless, to be honest. It's a bit disappointing in that regard. 
Uh, it does have attack and move speed of 4% tied into it and a crit hit rating of 180% and that activates for 10 seconds every 30 so overall uh, that's slightly disappointing. Now, my personal preference would be to use Wolverine in active mode with the Builder showcased and I do believe that if you're a bleed damage hero and you can take advantage of what the Wolverine character offers then he is, he is he's up there for damage. I believe it's possibly only Coast and it just trumps him for the TTK, TTK time on the dummies. Uh, so I'll zoom in just so you can have a little look at him here before we finish up the video. So I hope the video uh, was useful and if it was please feel free to hit like and subscribe. Uh, next up I'll be doing Frankencastle so I'm quite looking forward to that one. See all you guys later.